my kittens and happy vlogmas day i have no idea so i don't know if you guys can tell but it is a cold and rainy day here in florida and when i woke up this morning all i was really feeling is like a nice hot coffee so we are going to go around to different restaurants and try out their holiday coffees or their holiday drinks. So I'm probably going to go to Starbucks, McDonald's, Chick-fil-A, Sonic's, and then possibly either Burger King or Dunkin' Donuts. I haven't quite figured it out. I'm just going to go around to different places and see what everyone has and just pick my favorite. So. Without further ado, let's get into trying different holiday drinks. Before we start, go ahead and click that big red subscribe button. And guys, it is my new goal to reach 1,000 subscribers and we are only 100 away. So please, please, please subscribe. And also turn on your post notifications so you can get notified every time I upload. And also if you like this video, go ahead and give me a big fat thumbs up. All right, without further ado, let's get started okay guys so I just got to Starbucks and I think I'm gonna get either their gingerbread latte or their peppermint mocha latte and there's also something else I don't remember what it is hold on oh actually there's a sign hold on let's see they have peppermint mocha caramel creme brulee and then toasted white chocolate I don't know which one I'm gonna get I'll let you know in a second hi hey. what okay. are you getting for you today um let's see I just need out of all of these like holiday drinks, which one is your favorite? I like the caramel brulee. I'd say that one is the most popular along with the peppermint mocha. Usually okay. those are like the winners. Yes, I was thinking about the caramel one. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay. And then I'm Perfect. just, um, what's a small again? Is it a tall? Yeah. yeah. Okay, and that's hot, right? <laughs> yes, please. Okay. One tall hot caramel brulee. What else? Um, that's going to be it. Okay. $4.98 and they'll take your payment up at the window. Okay. By the way, your makeup looks beautiful today. Oh, thank you so much. So You're awesome. <laughs> Bye. You too. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Alrighty guys, so I have my caramel brulee coffee right here. And look at how cute like the little Starbucks cup is. Like I love it when they have like their holiday design on it. It's just so cute. But let me go ahead and taste it. I already know it's gonna be good because I love anything caramel. But let's see. Ooh, yeah. That is so good. Yeah. It's so good, but I'm not really tasting much of the caramel. Like this just tastes like a nice like Starbucks hot coffee. You know what I mean? Cause like sometimes their coffees can kind of taste all the same. I'm not getting anything really different to be like, okay, this is definitely caramel brulee. Overall, super good, but I'm not really getting too much caramel. So I would probably rate this drink, hmm, I'll do a seven out of 10, yeah. If it had a little bit more caramel or something extra, it would be like a nine out of 10. But because of that reason, I'll just stick to seven out of 10. So the next place I'm gonna go to is Sonic's because it's literally right next door. And I'm gonna go see if they have like any holiday shakes or anything. So when you see me again, we'll be trying that. So I'm at Sonic's right now and I asked if they had any holiday themed drinks. And the lady was like, no, not now. And I'm like, if not now, when? Because I'm like, <laughs> Because I'm like, Christmas is literally two weeks away. So I'm like, when are you gonna have any holiday drinks if it's not happening now? But anyways, so Sonic's was a flop. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go across the street to McDonald's. So I'll see you guys there. Morning, this is Kayla. Hi. Do you, do you guys have the eggnog um, shake? No, we don't. Or do you have like the peppermint mocha uh, coffee? No, we don't. Okay. Oh, okay. Never mind then. Guys, what the heck? Okay, so as you heard, I went to McDonald's and they didn't have any holiday drinks either. So I'm like, what are all these fake news articles out online? Because so many articles say, oh, these restaurants have this, this, that. And then when you show up, they have nothing. So I guess right now I'm gonna go to my guaranteed spot, which is Chick-fil-A, to go try their uh, peppermint shake. So when I see you guys again, we'll be at Chick-fil-A. So guys, I decided to stop by Dunkin' Donuts because I knew it would be a guaranteed spot for like a holiday drink. So one second, I'm gonna tell you guys what I got, if you didn't already hear. Okay guys, sorry I'm so close, but like this is the only way I can get somewhat of good lighting because it's just like so drab and dreary out here. But anyways, I got the gingerbread spice iced coffee from Dunkin' Donuts and 
I'm excited to see how it tastes. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right, Dunkins. All right, hold on. Wow. So it's actually really, really good. It's obviously like a little bit sweet, but like I feel like Dunkin' Donuts is known for their like kind of overly sweet coffee. But like this is actually really good. And you don't really get too much of that gingerbread taste until like the aftertaste comes, which is good because I'm not really a big, big fan of gingerbread. So the fact that it's just like a slight taste to it in the back of your tongue, like after you sip it is very, very nice. So, hmm. Duncan, your gingerbread iced coffee, I'm gonna give it a 8.5. Woo! That's actually pretty good. I would give it a like nine or 10 if it was just a little bit stronger because I like my coffee a little bit stronger now. But overall, for what it is, I think it's actually pretty good. So, hmm. Okay, let me tell you what just happened. I like had a mini freak out because I was going into Chick-fil-A, but it turned out like I was in like the wrong lane because the way that this Chick-fil-A is set up, is just like the line always wraps around the building. So I never know which line to get into. But anyways, as I was rolling in, I like ran over a speed bump and like my camera fell and my phone went flying and I'm in the wrong lane and I'm just like, ah, like, <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, like it got like, it got so chaotic so quickly. So I had to park and kind of get myself together, but now we are actually on our way to Chick-fil-A. <laughs> okay guys, so I finally got the peppermint shake from Chick-fil-A and guys, I am already so excited. And also I'm gonna be really biased about this rating because I love this drink. I get it every year. And I also used to work at Chick-fil-A like my senior year of high school, so five years ago. And while I was working there, that's the time that the peppermint shake was like first introduced. So they let us have it and try it out all the time and I love it. But just for the fun of it, I'm gonna taste it and rate it again. And so let's see. Mm, yes, yes, mm-hmm. Yes, okay. This shake never gets old, I love it. It's not too much peppermint because I know that peppermint can sometimes be like very overwhelming in flavor, but it's very subtle. You have like the pieces of peppermint and chocolate chips in here, which is like awesome because you get that crunch of the peppermint and also like a bit of that chocolate. So overall, it's just like a very well balanced shake. Overall rating, like I already thought, is gonna be a 10 out of 10. Go Chick-fil-A, I love you so much. I love the time when I work there. So yeah, 10 out of 10 for the peppermint shake and you guys should definitely try it. Now the last and final stop that I'm gonna make is right next door and we're gonna go to Steak and Shake because I really wanna try their eggnog shake. So let's go ahead and head over there. It's literally like right next door to Chick-fil-A which is perfect, so let's go. And guys, oh my goodness, I'm already... Gosh, what a mess. Someone please buy me a vlog camera or like a camera holder for Christmas. Like, please, please, please. I oh! Okay, I'm sorry that was a whole hot mess, but like, like I was saying, someone please buy me a vlogging camera or just a camera in general because I am bootlegging it up over here and I need, <laughs> I need all the help I can get. Anyways, let's regroup. I'm at Steak and Shake and I'm about to go into the drive-thru. Hi, welcome to Steak and Shake. What can I make you fish today? Hi, can I just have a small um, eggnog um, shake, please? What kind of shake? The eggnog shake. Eggnog shake? Yes, please. Sure. Okay, and then that's and it. And you like anything else? No, that's gonna be it. Travel, please. Okay, thank you. My pleasure. <laughs> I'm dead. Okay. You said it's small, is that right? Yes. Three twenty-five. Okay. Mm-hmm. You going to USF? No, I actually went to UCF, but I just graduated in May. Is that right? Yeah. I was going to ask Thank you, you when this school going to be closed. Oh, like for a Christmas break? Yeah. Probably like in the next week. Next week? Yeah. Or if not already. 
I've been out of the school a long time ago. <laughs> no problem. I know it's somewhere, someday. Yeah, it's, I think it's like right now. But Thanks thank so you. Much. Thanks. Appreciate it. Come again. Thank you. Yay. Okay. Alrighty, guys. I have our final shake, which is the eggnog shake. And guys, like, man, they were not kidding when they said small. I'm like, okay, Chick-fil-A small, Steak and Shake small. It's like, if your name is Steak and Shake, you can't scam me on the shake. Like, you see that? Well, actually, no, yeah, they're still, well, maybe it's the same. Anyways, whatever, let's get into tasting it. I'm excited to see what it tastes like, and ooh. They even put like some cinnamon topping on it as like a garnish. Ooh, it smells good. Okay, let's try it. Ooh, okay, hmm. That's pretty good. Okay, so I'm not like a big eggnog fan. Yes, okay, I'm sorry guys, I know I'm so picky. But like, this is actually very nice because once again, just like, let's just say, just like the Dunkin's um, gingerbread iced coffee, this one is also very subtle with the eggnog and it just kind of comes like with an aftertaste. Like when you're first sipping on it, it tastes like a vanilla um, shake but then you get that aftertaste of eggnog like after you take that first sip and it's actually very, very nice. Hmm. I do have to say I wish there was like just a tad more eggnog flavoring because like I said, you're only really getting it as an aftertaste and when you're first sipping it, it just tastes like vanilla. So I wish it was a little bit stronger on the eggnog but overall like I'm not mad at it at all, okay? So overall, guys, I'm gonna rate the eggnog shake from Steak and Shake. I am going to rate it, let's see, hmm. I'll rate it a 7.5 because is it good for what it is? Yes. Like, am I gonna be staying up at night dreaming about it and wishing I could get it again? No, but for an eggnog shake, I don't think it was that bad. I think it needs more eggnog flavoring, but overall, I think it's pretty good. So, not too bad. Also, guys, I have no idea what I'm gonna do with all these drinks. Like, oh my gosh, should I do a giveaway? Like a Christmas giveaway? Whoever likes, comments, and subscribes will get a half drunk eggnog shake and a very, very watered down <laughs> Duncan's iced coffee. So, if you want that, definitely subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and comment down below. <laughs> Alrighty guys, that is it for trying out different holiday drinks and I think that my number one winner and obviously no surprise would have to be the Chick-fil-A peppermint shake. It is so good. It's a holiday classic and I absolutely love it. And I think second place goes to Dunkin Donuts gingerbread iced coffee because that was also really good. Alrighty guys, I'm going to go and recover from the coffee that I just drank. But please, please, please subscribe and give this video a big fat thumbs up. And also leave me a comment on which holiday drink is your favorite or which one you think that you'd want to try. Also, make sure to check out any of my other Vlogmas videos. Alrighty, my kittens. I love you guys so, so, so very much. And I will see you in the next vlog. Bye. <laughs>